Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I will do a quick read for the zodiac sign of Leo. So if you have Leo in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. If you are dealing with a Leo, this reading could resonate. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you can be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Egun, Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for the sign of Leo. Okay, Leo, what your spread is looking like to me is that, um, you guys have a difficult decision to make regarding um, it's either your business or it's a love relationship. OK, but the way this spread is looking like uh, like your decision is, is critical because there are a lot of major arcana um, in front of me. And OK, so it's, it's what it looks like is that either there is somebody offering you like a bad business deal, bad business contract. Someone who is very close to you, who you feel like you either owe something to or they depend on you or you're dealing with a um, karmic, very strong karmic relationship. Like past life energy is like intense is what I'm looking at. But this person is not your vibrational match. They're not like your true soulmate. Um, it's like a it's like a, a spiritual contract. Because really, I see a lot like contracts. So it's, it's either has to do with the relationship uh, of a spiritual contractual na nature or it has to uh, deal with um, regular 3D material world business. OK, so let's let's get into it. All right. It's yeah. OK, so and it's reminding me. Sorry. <laughs> It's reminding me of that last uh, reading that I did for you about like this person is a whole ho. It almost made me feel like uh, spirit in that spread was trying to help you make a decision by showing you just who this person is all in all. Like this is what they do. This is how they are. This is who they are. Are you sure you want to be with that? Now the way it's showing is, is that you have a decision to make and you can only choose one. You can't straddle the fence on whatever this is, okay? I don't know if you have a new love interest that's um, looking to be with you and you don't know who to choose, whether to stay with the old person or um, be with the new person, or whether this is saying that um, you make the wrong business deal, you, you lose a, a lot of money and you get like backstabbed or something, something like that. It, it'll be a devastating end if you like kind of choose the wrong decision. I'm not trying to scare you. It's just what how the cards make it look, you know? Okay, so in your first row, we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Swords in the reverse, Death in the reverse, Temperance in the upright. Okay, so this Four of Pentacles person. Sorry, guys. They're greedy. They're jealous. Um, They may be spending money that they don't have and... Could be spending money of yours that they shouldn't be. Could be like dipping into accounts, uh, maybe like spending savings money or something like that. You may have caught them doing that. Um, this person with this Knight of Swords in the reverse, they have some uh, very immature sociopathic energy, okay? And very deceptive. Very, very, very deceptive. This could also indicate lawsuits. So whether this is... Um, you're suing a business partner. This could even be a divorce. Maybe you want to serve somebody papers, okay? Um, but that's what that card is telling me. The death in reverse tells me somebody um, won't change. Something's supposed to transform. Okay, these these reversals with these major arcanas are telling me a couple things. Um, this relationship this that you have with this person should be over. It should be over. But everywhere that would indicate it tells me somebody's holding back like second row I see lovers in reverse third row I see tower in reverse and then the first row I'm seeing the death in reverse it makes me feel like on both ends you guys are keeping this going um you must be confused is how I feel you must be confused or you may feel some sort of guilt 
I don't know what it is, but if it helps, I'm trying to tell you this person is not, you don't owe them anything. I don't know what happened in your past with, between you and this person, but you owe them nothing, nothing. They're not even your real person, okay? Or they're not even your real business partner. This is someone you should not move forward with in the rest of your life, okay? Because when I see the death, I always say spirit has um, nudged you to change, to, to change your ways, to step into a new form, okay? And what really tells me that is this temperance card. All right. Temperance is that's the, that's an angelic energy sitting right next to the death card. We got two major arcana sitting next to each other. Somebody has been guided to change. You have probably been guided to change. You probably have been feeling your spirit guides, an ancestor or somebody around you telling you um, this has got to stop. It's got to stop. All right. Because what you're trying to do with temperance is mix two things that don't belong together. See, temperance says that they, they should. Temperance is able to take two things that seemingly see, seem um, like they don't go together and actually make it happen. This temperance in the upright tells me, though, that there is someone that you are a vibrational match with. The fact that it's in the upright. But next to this death reverse and this reverse sociopath and this knight of swords uh, energy is saying that person's not your match. Whoever I'm describing, who's a... Uh, greedy and selfish and actually jealous. And you know that they're jealous of you. You've had enough instances between the two of you to peep the jealousy. Okay. So let's go to the second row. Second row, we got emperor in reverse. We have, um, the knight of pentacles in reverse, lovers in reverse Two. wow. Wow. I'm just noticing the way, um, <laughs> spirits set these cards up. Like even in the second row, um, we have three reversals and then an upright card with the emperor in, re emperor in reverse, excuse me, slurring my words, uh, the knight of pentacles in reverse, and then the lovers in reverse. Then the last card in the upright, two of wands, which is another two card because just the temperance is two things being mixed and then two of wands is two wands, but it's uh, indicative of decisions and the lovers is two people. So um, you're dealing with someone who's aggressive. Um, may have come off to you like a business person, someone who has it together, and they don't. The Knight of Pentacles tells me that they're sloppy, they're lazy, very, very lazy, okay? Um, this contract should be over. It's a bad contract, if it is a contract with the lovers in reverse. Whether it's a spiritual contract or a material world contract, it's a, a shitty contract, okay? Um, Two of Wands tells me that you actually have a real decision to make um, about your money, about your business, about who you are and how you're going to go forward. OK, what's so weird is that, um, you know, like this emperor was giving me someone who owns the business, this emperor in reverse. This person, you know, if it was in the upright, I would say, cool, yeah, do business with them. But no, they're in the reverse. But at the end, we got two of wands. Now, if two of wands is a person. This is an entrepreneur, someone whose money is actually stable. OK, whose money is right. Somebody you might be able to work with better. OK, because this right here with this emperor in reverse, knight of pentacles in reverse. This is someone who wants to present themselves as having it together. But they're really sloppy, really, really sloppy. OK, really sloppy. And we got lovers in reverse. Bad contract, bad contract. OK. Um, two's all over the place. Temperance, two, lovers, two, two of wands. All right. Um, last row. We have the tower in reverse, the king of swords in reverse, the ace of swords in the upright, the four of cups in the reverse. Again, you two won't let this tower fall. You need the top and the bottom row are, it's crazy. This is really pushing this message. It's telling you the same thing in, in every row, every row, all right? To let something go because you're dealing with a sociopathic, um, lazy, want to get stuff for not doing work kind of energy, okay? With this, this King of Swords, let this tower fall, all right? Because what's next to that, the last two cards I have are um, the Ace of Swords in the upright, okay? 
and we have the four of cups in the reverse. What that's telling me is you may feel all sad and dejected, but what you don't understand is that there is another cup out there waiting for you. Okay, you have admirers. You have other people that, admirers, people who want to have a relationship with you or people who want to work with you, okay? Because the Knight of Swords talks about romantic proposals, business proposals. Um, yes, these are the things that's coming to you. Down, going vertical, I have the Temperance, Two of Wands. Telling me you will find your vibrational match. You will find someone who is right to work in business with. You just don't see them or you might miss them. Okay. If it's love you want, it will be, you have a choice. If it's a better business partner, business deal, you have a choice. Um, but you have to sever a tie or a contract or an energetic cord with someone from, well, actually, it's not, not even really someone from your past. It's someone in your present because I don't see you keep trying to hold on to them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But holding on to them, they, they show at the bottom, Ten of Swords. Look at you. This will be you. You keep holding on to that person who you know will not do you right. That's going to be you. What they're doing is this seven of swords in reverse. They want to come in acting like um, they love you, that they're your friend. Um, and they actually intentionally want to steal from you and intentionally stab you in the back. And why intentionally? Because I told you with the four of pentacles in the reverse that they're jealous of you. Okay. They want to see your downfall. They lie to you about um, family. This is the 10 of cups but it's in reverse. This is right underneath this deception. They lie to you about the, the love for you, what they want to create with you. Yeah, they, they're they making up illusions. Let's see what's behind this. It'll be bad because underneath, past that uh, 10 of swords that's underneath the deck is the five of pentacles in um, the reverse. If you do, you know, when experience this, Ten of Swords, I'll tell you that your money will start to build back slowly, but you will lose. You will lose because you chose wrong. Make the right decision. Make the right decision because it's in every row that something's wrong. There also, um, I want to tell you that I know the karmic energy is strong. You and this other person have a uh, really fiery sexual connection. Um, you, you either, you, you two really enjoy having sex with each other or, um, during that time, that's one or both of you feel like a connection to God, like a closer connection. And I want to say it's the person who displays all that lazy, jealous behavior, because I feel like they stay into a negative energy and presence and you two don't get along. But when you engage sexually, they find some sort of, um, like peace. And even if they're like, even if they're cheating on you, sex with you actually feels closer to God than sex with everybody else. Because in your spread, as far as the colors go, I see a lot of cold, dark blues. But then right in the middle, all of these cards that just represent how everything isn't um, right about this person is all of this red. It's red, red, passion, passion. All that red, meaning sex. You know, I think that's what's tying you guys together. It's actually, all, this is your like whole middle row, okay? It's it's what's in it's what's binding the story together, sex. And if you know that to be the case, this is definitely your message. So release that, release that tie. Don't have sex with them because it strengthens the tie. All right, Leo, that's your message. Um, if it resonates. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell. If you want to book a personal reading with me, email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. Okay, guys.